One of the most intriguing parts of Agatha all along is the identity of Joe Locke's character, who appeared to be confirmed as Wanda Maximoff's son, Billy, also known as Wiccan, in episode 5, titled Darkest Hour, Wake Thy Power. This connection makes sense because since episode 1, he has had a sigil on him that prevents his name from being disclosed. This element of mystery has kept viewers hooked. Another theory has pieced together images of Teen during the beginning of The Witch's Road. This aspect is central to the series, as it acts as a portal that provides Agatha with something significant. Interestingly, this speculation suggests that Agatha and her coven weren't the ones who opened the rift. Instead, it implies that Teen might have done it, which could clarify his role in the show, especially in light of the reveal in Episode 5. The theory illustrates Teen standing above the pentagram in Agatha's house, the wooden hatch there glows blue, suggesting that the doorway beneath it is being opened. However, this hasn't actually occurred in the show so far. In episode 2 of Agatha All Along, Agatha and the witches she gathered sang a song to open the portal. When the Salem Seven came to chase him, Teen was the first to dash down through the hatch, followed closely by the coven. This theory suggests that the image of Teen on the pentagram took place before Agatha started chanting. It implies that he opened the door earlier and has been acting mysterious about it. Episode 5 seems to lend more support to this idea. This could have also occurred when Agatha was under the Westview spell in WandaVision. The Scarlet Witch distorted her mind, but Teen managed to break that spell in Episode 1 of the show. He was later discovered tied up in Agatha's home, where he informed her about the road and how it could provide her with what she desired the most. Agatha believes that it's the power that Wanda Maximoff took from her. However, instead of just appearing by chance, Teen might have orchestrated everything. He could have positioned himself in the house after opening the portal and has been playing a role all along. It's possible that he wants to be there with Agatha as she navigates the road and faces challenges to determine if she wishes to atone for something she did. Giving up her son, who is hinted to still be Nicholas Scratch in the MCU. Teen has mentioned that he is a big fan of Agatha and knows a lot about her. It makes sense that he would want to find out if she is the mother who sacrificed her son to Mephisto for the Darkhold. Whether Teen is there on Mephisto's behalf, or if he has escaped and is seeking a sense of belonging, it seems logical that he would want to test Agatha personally. Understanding her regrets might reveal to Teen that Agatha wasn't always a villain. If Agatha's son is set to appear soon, there's potential to explore how people who have been hurt sometimes give those who harmed them a chance to redeem themselves. While Agatha isn't one to say sorry, we see in one of her trials that she does feel remorse for what she did to her son. She even sees a crib with the dark hold in it. This suggests that Teen might be setting the stage and working on her mindset. Similar to how Wanda approached Agatha, the Avengers, and other foes, it's really about looking for weaknesses and vulnerabilities. If Teen is indeed Wanda's son, as hinted at the end of Episode 5 and not just a clever misdirection, Agatha's potential redemption could give him some sense of closure after losing his own mother in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He appears to have gone through a lot of suffering between the events of WandaVision and Agatha all along. By recognizing that Agatha has a good side beneath her dark magic, he might find a way to come to terms with his own background and possibly create a sort of substitute family with Agatha after losing Wanda. Toy leaks have hinted that Aubrey Plaza's character, Rio, is actually Lady Death, and Episode 5 has almost confirmed that Joe Locke is Wanda's reincarnated son, Billy Kaplan. 
Comic fans recognize Billy as the twin son that Wanda created and ultimately lost in the original stories. WandaVision altered this by removing both Billy and his brother Tommy from Westview. This led Wanda on a journey across the multiverse to find versions of them, culminating in her death at Mount Wundagore. Considering how Wanda altered reality and how Agatha contributed to corrupting that bubble, Teen being Wiccan provides another reason for him to open a door to the Witch's Road. It might not be solely about helping Agatha seek redemption for what she did to her son and finding a new family. It could also be about finding Wanda. It's unclear if Billy actually came into existence from Westview, since he was never truly real. This suggests that Teen might still need a powerful magic user to help him become real and exist in the physical world. That magic user could very well be Agatha. Agatha holds significant power to unleash with or without the Darkhold. Therefore, Teen, as Billy, would likely be seeking a way to reach Wanda. With Wanda confirmed to be dead, Agatha might also be crucial in bringing her back. All Teen would need to do is help strengthen Agatha and provide her with a reason to restore a family. While the idea of using her sacrifice of her son for the Darkhold may seem quite twisted, it's possible that Billy is feeling desperate and has limited choices. Despite the reveal in Episode 5, Teen's storyline remains fascinating and full of mystery. Ideally, it will conclude with him reuniting with his family, Agatha seeking atonement, and perhaps even a Scarlet Witch who understands love and empathy again if Wanda is brought back. This entire magical saga has focused on destruction, so having Teen as the key to rebuilding a magical family would be very fitting. Along the way, Agatha might discover a path back to her own son, realizing through Teen what she truly longs for. The cast's dedication to keeping the secret during press junkets was impressive, particularly Joe Locke, who portrays Teen in the series. The actor took to Instagram to share his relief at finally being able to discuss Teen openly in future interviews. He also revealed that he has known about Teen's true identity since he was cast. Locke shared his thoughts on the big reveal in Episode 5 through his Instagram story, keeping it brief. Two years of keeping this secret, he wrote. He joined the show's cast in November 2022, when it was hinted that he would play Teen, the male lead. The character's placeholder name suggested a significant twist, and the episodes creatively hid Teen's name in various scenes, such as sealing his lips with a sigil or drowning out his voice with background sounds. However, Agatha dropped the biggest clue before the reveal, by telling Teen that he was as temperamental as his mother. Teen being Wiccan raises even more questions. Wanda's children were imaginary in WandaVision making it unlikely that Teen is the same boy Wiccan from that series. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Wanda traveled to different dimensions in search of her sons to cope with her grief, so Teen might actually be a multiverse variant of Billy Maximoff. This tease adds to the show's intrigue. In Episode 3, Mephisto was also mentioned casually, hinting that he could be the next big antagonist in the MCU. Showrunner Jack Schaefer mentioned that the hints throughout the series were her way of fueling fan theories. It still stops my heart, she shared with Variety. My main focus is maximizing viewer enjoyment. So I get anxious when people figure things out too quickly. I have to trust that viewers can choose their own experience. But I reassure myself that it's a winding journey, and I hope that journey is enjoyable. Fans can look forward to an exciting lead-up to the season finale of Agatha All Along, especially with the confirmed connections to WandaVision and the Wiccan theory now in play. Do leave your comments in the comment section. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out other videos on this channel as well.